in front of the house and we are facing east. I'm going to swing around and show you the view down the street facing south. That's Sarasota Bay right there. There's your neighbor across the street as we face west. There's another canal over there behind those houses. Now we're facing north and that stop sign right up there is Bay Drive, also known as 69th. So let's walk on in and see what we have. One car carport, brick paver entryway, need a little pressure washing and paint. So in we go. This is the living room. This is it. So to the right as you come in the living room are your two bedrooms. Or, yeah, air conditioner. Bedroom number one with a slider that goes out onto that back patio. Brand new window, little closet, little ceiling fan. Let's go down this way. Here's the other bedroom. About the same size. And then on our way back out, here's the only bath. So we've got a stall shower that's fair to midland condition. And somebody put in a nice little custom Corian counter there, and new charm, and all that. So that's it, that's the bathroom. That's all she wrote. Living room, front door that we just came in from, and there's the view over there. A little breakfast nook over there underneath the light. Kitchen. Uh, formica. Basic appliances. Pocketing sliding glass door that goes out onto that screen patio. There's your range. Hood, view back towards the front door there. And here's the utility room, showing the terrazzo floors that are probably underneath the tile here. We've got washer and dryer hookups, hot water heater, second door which goes out into the carport. We've got us an electrical panel. Ooh, okay, with a fuse box, let's hope that, well, that looks like that's actually the one that's in service, so, now let's go out back, now here we have a nice little screened porch with a ceramic tile floor, and there's your view. And this is what we came to see. So here we've got pavers, little porch here. Seawall indicates that that is newer, has been replaced. The dock looks decent. You know, some of the dock boards can come up, but the structure seems solid enough. So there's your view out. So you, you're, you're narrowing there at the head of the channel is where the water is shallowest. But again, I think traffic would take care of that. Looking to the north, up the canal. There's the end of the canal. This is your neighbor with his falling down dock. He's been there a very long time, like 40 years. And then the house we were interested in is one house beyond him, and it's kind of around that tree there. Um, and it was really nasty kind of up there because the water doesn't circulate very well. So here's your view uh, of the house next door. Presumably your property line would be somewhere around here where they're mowing. Not, not for sure. We'd want to check that out. So there's a side yard that's big enough for a pool, or you could probably squeeze a pool back here. Looks like there's plenty of room. And, uh, yeah, so pretty little house. Storm clouds coming. There's the view across the way. Those are the mangroves um, that I don't think anybody can ever mess with. And beyond the mangroves is the Trailer Estates Park uh, 
parking lot. I think they've got shuffleboard and horseshoes over there on Saturdays. But um, doggone if you can see anything. And the trailer and states people are quite nice. Uh, so all in all, this is a cool, cool spot. I'm having a little bit of envy, actually. I kind of want to buy it. <laughs> but, um, you know, I already have too many houses, so there's that. Here's the side yard on the other side. You come around here and you can see that the fence is in need of repair. There's your view of the front yard and the carport fences needing to be replaced, really. I believe this is the neighbor's fence. Um, and there you have it. <laughs>